Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be watching Full Moon Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 17, Code Flame. Head over to my Patreon if you want the full reaction and if you want early reactions, like we're pretty early over there, so go check that out if you want to. But yeah, let's get into this reaction. They're like accusing her now, she wasn't her. What is that? This is the bullet that oh. killed Brigadier General Hughes. Is that one of her bullets or something? It's a 45 caliber. You fired exactly one shot. What was that round used for? It lists the reason right there on the form. I fired my weapon in defense of Edward Elric while in the fifth laboratory. Right. The fifth laboratory is no longer operational. It remains unmanned. It was definitely not unmanned. Right. Sure, according to your account. Why don't y'all get the, everybody else that was there? Shall I send what? someone to search for this bullet? It's now a pile of rubble. So Girl, just say, yeah, go over there. I don't care. Gun was unmanned. And if we looked for the bullet, all that we would be able to find is a pile of rubble. Is that what you're saying? No. You were spotted leaving the scene on the day of the murder at the same time as the shooting. That's impossible. You saw it. Calm down, Lieutenant. I was at my parents' house visiting. Please check with them. They'll tell you. All you can offer us is your family's testimony. That is not admissible as an alibi. Oh, gosh. Second Lieutenant Ross is being questioned. I can corroborate her story. Lieutenant Ross and I both fired around from our weapons at the Fifth Laboratory to defend the Elric brothers. You did? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's all written in my report. But everyone's ignoring it, sir. Mm. Are they no. trying to... Mm. What are we going to do? I don't know. Y'all need to help out Mary. Because <laughs> she didn't do it. What do you think? What's with the face? <laughs> She's like, you're going to ask me for help? I'm just surprised. What I think? I've never asked for my advice before. You and Al have been off somewhere fighting and digging up information. Information that could get you killed like Mr. Hughes. Yeah. Whenever I think about it. Get Winry killed. Oh, no. I mean, you could die. I'd still be here and you'd just suddenly not be there anymore. No. Like my mom and dad. <gasps> it's almost more than I can handle thinking about that. Honestly, sometimes I wish you would just give this whole thing up. In too deep. You're sure being mm. nice, Winry. <laughs> Why do you sound so surprised? <laughs> I'm always nice. Stop it. Take that back. <laughs> you put the Edward Oh my gosh, this guy. He can corroborate. <laughs> oh, it's here. Excellent. Like, she was here. She shot at me. <laughs> this is that lady from the laboratory. Yes, you can corroborate. <laughs> Freaking serial killer, guys. Wow. I don't want him talking to Al, though. Stay back. Read the front page. All right, y'all know that she was there with y'all. And y'all didn't tell anybody about these people. Oh, well, you did. Second Lieutenant Maria Ross convicted of Brigadier General Hughes's murder. Yep. We've got an intruder. Come on, give us a hand. An intruder. What? Behave yourself. Got it. Hi, <laughs> He's getting out of there. Lame, lame, lame. Are you guys even trying? You Why is he back. here? Stay back. Yep. Why is he here though? Are they trying to break Mary out? That's a bad idea. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be bad. What? <laughs> She's like, oh no. <laughs> I've been looking for you. You're from the Fifth Laboratory. Oh gosh. You haven't forgotten me. How sweet. Right now it's looking like you'll be facing the firing squad for sure. Why are you here though? <laughs> They're wrong. If they would just do a proper investigation. Stay here and be killed for murder or bust out of this joint with me. Which will it be? No. She has to stay. What is this? <laughs> Poor girl. Fine, let's go. Oh no. Oh. You better know a way out of here, metal. It's gonna be even worse now. Ooh, you've got spunk. Edward could have helped you. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Maria Ross has broken out. It appears she's with a violent accomplice. Oh gosh. She caught. If she resists. Kill her. The order is shoot. Oh kill. no. Why did he bring her there? Oh my gosh, why did he. What is going on? <laughs> You're that guy! And Ling too? Hey guys, what are you up to? We're his bodyguards. We don't have time for this! 
Ah. Get going. If the MP show up, they'll shoot you. You didn't do it. Lieutenant Ross. Stay back. No this is bad. Oh no. I feel like she shouldn't be going out here like this. Oh no. You're Maria Ross, right? <gasps> what was that? Looks like they got her. Hold it. Get back here. They just he just blew her up. Did he kill her? <gasps> hey there. Fool. He burned her up. She didn't even what do it. Here? What happened here, Colonel? Tell me. Full metal alchemist. Poor girl. <laughs> she didn't even do it. Oh no, that's so sad. He straight burned her up to a crisp. Barbecued her. Why didn't you say anything? Uh -uh. Oh, no, he did not. Maria Ross was a fugitive. Our orders were shoot to kill. But she burned her up. So did. That's all you have to say? About Hughes's death. I apologize for hiding it. But you do not argue against orders or ask for explanations. Just follow. That's her. not right. That's what it means to be a soldier. I understand the Brigadier General was a friend. Yeah. He was a good man. Perhaps he did that for revenge. Your men who aided Lieutenant Ross's escape. I mean, she didn't actually do it. I think such speculation is best avoided. That's why she was running away. They could have helped her. <laughs> it's my fault. Her body was almost completely destroyed. Mm. But judging from what little dental work remained, I was able to conclude that this is indeed Maria Ross. It's an awful thing you did. Mm turning a beauty like her into a pile of charcoal you must have held quite a grudge against her didn't you colonel oh my gosh he acted too quickly is the vengeance as sweet as you imagined it that makes me sick you could have just caught her so we could find out who it actually girl, is were you in the interrogation room you were not there actions. you just heard it word of mouth what if it was Al? What if it was anybody else? He would have just killed them. But truly fine officer. This is causing a rift. Oh no. Uh. Fatigue seems to be getting the best of you, Major. Perhaps you should take some leave. Uh. Back east, where I was. It's a nice place. None of the big city noise. Really? And lots of beautiful women. Oh my gosh, is he turning like dark? Is he going to the dark side now? What's this? It's a request for leave. At a time like this? Is that a no? Is she sad? She probably like doesn't want to be around him. I don't know. What were you thinking going out on your Okay, he didn't let him out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, I haven't had a day since I got here, so I'm seriously considering taking some leave time soon. Not happy with this man. <laughs> I could use a nice relaxing fishing trip. Care to come along? Who is he talking to though? I hope that he's getting played by one of those people, the Ouroboros. Uh, who is it? What are you Ah! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I just opened the door. <laughs> This is no good, no good at all. Your <laughs> mail seems to be broken. Uh, okay. Yes, this is a serious situation. What do you need? Indeed. We'll have to repair it at once. Allow me to escort you to Rizembu for repairs. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> and you, Alphonse Elric, you would stand out too much, so you remain here oh. in central. Did okay. we split up? Is he trying to get him some like better equipment? Put me down. I'm afraid I can't Why? do it. These are my ah. orders. Him? Him? Major Armstrong and Edward Elric have gotten aboard the train, sir. What? Okay. Where you got them going? Finally, everyone's out of the Excuse way. me? What? What is he talking I about? I able to locate a witness that saw the man who orchestrated the breakout. Here, this is a Everybody's out of the way. Still alive, then? 
Is there any direct connection to the Colonel? He did leave pretty suddenly, and he's good at hiding. In other words, you have no hope they don't find them. <laughs> don't blame this on me, you ugly Ooh. hag. I'm short on manpower. Manpower? <laughs> what is that? Finally on. Bury the chopper. Huh? Wait, wait. <laughs> I was like, bury the chopper. That is the guy. So is he like the big guy? Let me see what's going on here. I don't know why Barry the Chopper is him, but Barry the Chopper is also the guy without the soul. Maybe that's his actual body that they just transmutated. Um, not sure on that, but that was that was an interesting episode. Mary died. Like the Colonel just literally snapped his fingers and killed her without a blink of an eye. She was dead. And why did he run after her to try to get her out? The uh, actual, I don't know if it's the actual, but the other bear, the chopper. Why did he try to break out to go and save her? To go and save her, even though she tried to shoot him, shoot him up. Maybe he felt, I don't know, maybe he felt like a connection to her. I have no idea. Hmm. Or maybe he just wanted out. Well, no, because he went back. I don't even know. Oh, but she ran, she ran, and oh gosh, you didn't need to run. Why did you listen? Barry the Chopper. This is Barry the Chopper, right? Oh my gosh, she's always messing people up. We did not need your help. Edward was on his way, probably going to corroborate the story. Why did no one want to listen? No one wanted to listen. I'm like, oh gosh, do y'all not know about this world? That there's... Things out here that can shape shift and turn to other things. I don't know if they know about that. Maybe they don't. But some people, somebody does. Somebody knows about this. I feel like the Fuhrer. Uh, yeah, I feel like the Fuhrer was behind that. Was like, yeah, it's her. So whatever. <laughs> because if they try to figure out who it actually is, then that messes him up and his people up. And whatever they're trying to do messes all of them up. So that's crazy uh yeah but the colonel actually killed her and then sent and then he sent edward off without his brother without renry to get his auto mill fixed i'm like is it broken it's not really broken i was doing fine uh just got it tuned up probably <laughs> i'm not sure about where they're headed like he's like finally everybody's out the way for you to do what for you to do what what is the what else is there for you to do I don't understand. I was trying to think, like, <laughs> have we ever seen the Colonel and the Fuhrer in the same room? And we have, so they're not the same person. I was like, maybe they're the same person, but they're not. Ugh. 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 Why? He's trying to get revenge. But, like, I would have seen why she did it. I would have asked her why she did it so that she would get some sort of closure if she actually was the one that did it. Uh, you didn't even talk to her. He literally never talked to her. Except for when she was running away from him. He was about to kill her. This is crazy. It's craziness. Craziness. I don't even think she was resisting. She just was standing there. That's wild. That's wild. And he wants them out of the way. So, oh, Cause he knows that Edward is gonna, he knows that Edward's gonna like challenge him. Hmm. But I hope Al can come back and be like, where's my brother at? You know, something like that. Dang, this is horrible. Why'd they send him back home? Okay, we'll see in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with me. This was Code Flame, episode 17 of season one. If you guys want full unedited reactions to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, head over to my Patreon and we are way ahead over there. So go check that out if you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.